So last week on my channel, I put up an interview I had with a gal who not only got seven deals under contract, she's been getting many more under contract. And I'll put the link to that interview down below. I got a question here that I said I was going to go and answer live because this is just such a loaded question. How are you getting them to pick up the phone? I haven't talked to seven people in the entire month and I'm lucky if I reach someone, they never decide to sign on the first call. It's numerous calls, leaving voicemails and getting ghosted. People say, them answer from an unknown call anymore. They think every cold caller is a scammer anymore. And I do these and I connect with people and you're telling me that you're the 20th person that's called. I'm not interested. Click. I'd sure like to know how you're getting them to answer the phone. So Claude Jammer, first of all, I love that name and that is a loaded question. So I'm going to talk to you about a marketing strategy that we teach in the course. And this is something that I normally don't go this far on my YouTube channel, but I'm going to go ahead and just leak this out today. And I hope this helps you. First of all, I want you to think of 330 seven and 60, which adds up to a hundred. Three percent of my buyers are ready to sign with me right now today. So if I call and I call a hundred people in a month, three of them are going to say, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. And they're going to sign. The other 37% are people that I'm going to have to have somewhere between attempts four and 12. And you might say, well, wow, wow that's a lot. If you work this business two hours a day and you're calling a hundred leads a month and you're following up and you have a CRM and I have a past video on a CRM, just go back and check that out. And it's all about the follow-up. So you're going to have to follow up with your clients. It's in the business. You're in the business of locating people. There's reasons why people have these funds that are sitting there that they haven't claimed. So you're going to routinely follow up with people and call them at somewhere between four to, four to 12. The other 60% of your audience is going to be long-term follow-up. So it could be a number of different ways. What you're going to do is you're going to have to get a rhythm and you have to go with it. Like I have some people that will go and they'll call and they'll call first thing in the morning. And these are the most successful people I see in the program. They'll call between eight, nine o'clock, and then they'll call again, like after four. And they do that. So they call at eight, eight fifteen. the person has to pick up. And that is the best time statistically to get people to answer the phone. I learned that in four hour work week. And I've seen that time and time again, you call, Hey John, this is David calling you about and, and you say, say your business your property went for over the asking price I'm with RM Recovery this is not a sales call I'm calling you about the leftovers on this please call me back something to that degree now if someone's lost their property they're probably feeling really really down about it I mean I've seen it a million times but you're calling them with good news you got to shed light you got to have data. You can't call up and say, hey, John Smith, do you know you have money? I've done that. I've got hung up on. You deserve to be hung up on. I don't believe it when people call me and tell me I have money. But if someone called me and said, did you used to live at 123 Main Street? Did you used to have a Bank of America account? Or did your dad have this? You're going to pique my interest. You've said my name. You've said my address. And you're stating that you're not going to ask me for any money. But you're going to move forward and help me make money. I, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. And not everybody will. But the other 60% of your clients are going to be somewhere in the three to six month range where they're not ready, they're not sure, and it's going to take multiple follow-ups. So what I would do is I would come up with a campaign where you're cold calling, you're leaving text messages, and you're emailing 100 leads within a six month spread. And you're going to have people say, hey, you know what? I'm working with someone. Okay, great. You, you know, it went for $87,000 over the asking price. And I'll, sometimes I'll hear, what? They didn't tell me how much it went for over the asking price. That doesn't mean they have 87000 available to them. There might be a second, there might be a lien, there might be some interest payment but a lot of times what I see is that people will put a property under contract and they never tell people how much they have and it really sucks because they're collecting the majority and giving them pennies on the dollar and it just that's not right so you want to educate your audience so again this is a loaded question and I love it and there's I could talk weeks and weeks and weeks on this but I would say come up with a basic action plan your first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get a list of 100 people and skip trace them the second thing you're going to do is you're going to come up with a marketing plan realizing the three 37 60 three percent are going to buy immediately 37 are going to be between conversations four and 12 and 60 are going to be somewhere between three to six months and you're going to market those people regularly now you're probably saying how often do i call i would start off with maybe two to three times a week for the first couple weeks and then back it off to maybe once a week and keep on on once a week i had someone in 2022 that said yes to me and i sent them the paperwork and they ghosted me for six months it was like a four thousand dollar deal i think and then one day they said they were on vacation I'm like, really? You've been on vacation the last six months? I had the papers the next day. We got them paid and I got a few months later, I had $4,000 in the mail. You will get clients like that. What you have to do, and I'm not saying you're not doing this, you don't hear this wrong. 
you got to treat this like a business. You can't just poke at it. You got to get in there and you got to start. You're in the trenches. You're trying to make a side hustle. You're trying to make an income on this. I have a lot of people that do it. You have to come up with an aggressive marketing plan. If you just try 10 people one week, and again, I'm not saying you're doing that and no one picks up the phone, you're going to say, oh, the business doesn't work. You're going to get frustrated. But if you try 10 people a day for five days, and I would stagger the times. Maybe you try them one day at 10 a.m. Maybe you try them the next day at 2 p.m. Maybe you try them the next day in the evening and keep on staggering the times, stay focused, stay aggressive. You're not gonna get everybody, it never happens. Now, I'm not gonna say that you're gonna get the 3, 37, 60, exactly, but those are generally the rules. I find that 3% of my audience buys right now or, or gets it under contract immediately. 37% just take m multiple follow-ups and you're gonna have to do that. And that's 40% of your market right there. And then like I said, the other 60% is gonna be long-term and you're gonna have to stick with this and come up with a really aggressive marketing plan. I hope this helps. It really does work. I think you've seen a lot of the testimonials. Great question. Please keep these coming and I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks and do me a favor. If this video was helpful, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, I'll see you all around. Thank you.